Good afternoon to my respected teachers and my colleagues. Today I am going to present a rare case of tuberous sclerosis complex uh, presenting with Wunderlich syndrome. 24 years male patient presented to us with history of hematuria and right sided flank pain for uh, uh, 5 days. And patient was relatively asymptomatic before 5 days then he developed hematuria which was sudden onset, painless, gross, total, intermittent, relieved on taking medication not associated with any inter uh, not associated uh, it, it was associated with intermittent passage of uh, serpiginous clots. He also complained of uh, pain in the right lumbar region which was insidious in onset, intermittent dull lacking, no radiation, no aggravating factor and partially relieved on medication. Patient has no history of dysuria or LUTS or fever or gravelluria or pyuria. Patient has no history of any trauma or any bleeding tendency. Only positive history was uh, there is a history of convulsion two years back. In past history, significant was patient had a seizure disorder. For last two years, uh, he was on medication carbamazepine uh, twice uh, daily. No history of any similar com uh, complaints in the family was present. And uh, in personal history, patient was rickshaw puller by profession and sleep appetite and bowel habit was normal. And uh, no history of allergy to any drug uh, or food found. On examination, patient uh, uh, was moderately built and nourished, conscious, cooperative and well oriented to time, place and person. And uh, there, uh, there was reddish brown papular rash found over the face. Patient initially present to emergency department with severe pallor and uh, tachycardia was present uh, at the, that time. Uh, pulse was 100 per minute but BP was 110 by 76. Other examination was within normal limit. Parabdominally uh, on inspection, uh, uh, right sided lumbar region fullness was present and uh, other findings are within normal limit. On palpation, uh, patient had a solitary 12 into 10 cm lump in the right lumbar region extending to right hypochondrium and right iliac fascia which was firm, tender and with smooth surface with well defined margins and bladder, not, uh, bladder was not palpable. And percussion normal tympanic node hard all over the abdomen except uh, dullness over the lump and uh, no ascites was present. On auscultation, uh, normal bowel sounds found and uh, back and spine examination was essentially normal and other uh, system examination done which was normal. On examination external genitalia and uh, the digital rectal examination uh, uh, was normal. This is the picture of the face of the uh, patient uh, which shows multiple reddish brown, uh, uh, reddish brown uh, papular rash over the nose, nasolabial fold and cheek and the chin region and also some plaque over the forehead. This is a CT scan pictures uh, which shows uh, uh, there is a, a hematoma present in the uh, internal part of the lower pole and a large mass. This is a coronal section shows uh, uh, the right sided kidney, mid pole and lower pole all are replaced by the uh, tumor. And CT scan report was suggestive of a uh, mixed density uh, mass uh, with fatty components and uh, uh, of size of 16 into 9 centimeter suggestive of angiomyelipoma. Uh, after uh, this examination and uh, with the CT picture of uh, suggestive of angiomyelipoma uh, and skin examination, we uh, uh, also evaluate the patient for uh, presence of any, uh, presence of tuberous sclerosis complex. So uh, uh, MRI brain was done and uh, we can see there was a presence of subependymal nodule in the lateral ventricle and reports also uh, said that uh, there was some cortical tubers which was uh, 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 which was cons uh, consistent with uh, patient of tuberous sclerosis and also HRCT chest was done in this patient and uh, the finding was normal. Patient was initially managed conservatively and uh, by IV fluid uh, antibiotics and uh, four to five, uh, four unit blood transf uh, PRBC transfusion and after seven, uh, seven days patient uh, uh, had intermittent recurrent hematuria with persistent pain in the right sided flank region. So we decided for, uh, we decide for, uh, decided for uh, uh, surgical uh, uh, resection 
and patient underwent open simple right nephrectomy under general anesthesia post operatively patient was uh, doing fine and discharged on post operative day 4 this was the uh, picture of the uh, specimen uh, the arrow shows that the small part of the upper pole which was most probably functioning and uh, the uh, rest of the part is replaced by the tumor HP, HP report shows tumor composed of multiple tortuous thick walled blood vessels, eosinophilic spindle cells and cleared cells mimicking adipocytes suggestive of renal angiomyolipoma. At 6 month postoperative follow up patient doing well. At present patient is under follow up in urology and neurology department. Thank you sir. Thank you. We don't find very often, so I want to know. Yes, the Can you just point out the lesions? City brain. City brain. Okay. Yes, sir. This arrow shows that the subependymal nodule. Kunta arrow ta kothe nici. The red arrows. Acha. Okay. Subependymal nodules. This is MRI of brain. Yes, sir. Hello, boje jachcha na. Any other question? What is the role of the angioembolization in, in cases of the... So there is a role of angioembolization. Uh, so initially we uh, thought of that, but uh, because of the persistent bleeding and uh, pain abdomen, we decided for surgical resection. There is a rule and selective angioembolization should be done in this patient in case of uh, presence of any tuberous sclerosis complex disease. Because the disease has uh, chances of uh, bilateral involvement of kidney with multifocal in future. So we have decided for surgical resection after conservative management, but it, was, it failed. How, how the angi um, angioembolization is done? How it is done? Sir, we uh, do thin slice of CT, uh, CT angiography. Yeah, yeah. You have seen angiography? No, no, sir. So you have read how it is done. What is the method called? What is the name of the method for angiomalization of the renal tumors? Uh, no, sir, I could not. What are the different materials for angiomalization? Material is used. What are the names of materials? Coil embolization, we can. One is the coil. Yes, sir. Then, any other thing? Coil is very costly. Coil is usually not regularly used. Very much costly. Very much costly. Yeah. Easily available things, sir. Very easily available things. Yes, yes. yes. We, can be used. Now we can but use. There are different tools available. It's less costly. Yes, sir. But definitely, coil is very much dependable. It is permanently it blocks. Yes, but sir. But one coil costs per one or maybe not be sufficient. Maybe two, three, maybe repair. Any other question? Is there any role of observation? Because these tumors are hereditary, multifocal, bilateral, and bound to recur mostly. So what is the size criteria when, if there is no torrential bleeding or anemia, you can observe? Sir, in a uh, less than 4 centimeter size tumor, uh, we can observe and uh, if sir, a CT angiography shows less than 5 millimeter uh, aneurysm is there, uh, intraadrenal aneurysm of less than 5 millimeter. And if patient is in a reproductive age group, uh, uh, then we can have to intervene uh, even uh, less than uh, 4 centimeter size uh, tumor. That was the last question. Yes. Sir, patient presents to us with in, a, in, in emergency department with uh, hematuria and uh, right sided flank pain with pallor. With pallor? So yes. Did he have any uh, signs of hemorrhagic shock? Tachycard. Sir? These are spontaneous, uh, non-traumatic uh, bleeding in the subcapsular and peridinal space, and it so presents. Yes, sir. Bleed, which leads to a shock. 
case. He said shock was not there, otherwise uh, flank was, pain, mass. Do you know any drug which has been approved in uh, patients of yes. uh, tuberous sclerosis? Yes. Iverolimus Iver mtor inhibitor Iver is Iver FDA approved. What is the typical description of the lesion? It is a sir. It is uh, uh, facial angiofibroma or adenoma sebaceum. Yes. So you add waxy before that. Wax, yes. It's always waxy yes. and slippery. Yes, sir. Okay, we can stop this. Thank you. Next. Thank you. Next.